Hi everybody, Rob here from Pieces for Developers, and today I'll be going over to how to, how to get started with the Visual Studio extension. First, you can go to the Visual Studio Marketplace under the Visual Studio tab and search for Pieces to get downloading with the Visual Studio extension. The more widely used method of installing the extension is actually directly through the IDE. You can go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, Online in the Visual Studio Marketplace, and search for pieces. If you don't have pieces for Visual Studio installed, you'll see a download button, but as you can see, I have a check mark indicating I've already installed it. If this is your first time opening the pieces for Visual Studio extension, you'll, you'll see a welcome guide. Since I've already walked through the welcome guide, it doesn't pop up automatically, so let's go over how to open Windows in the extension. First, go to View, go to Other Windows, Pieces, and under this menu, you see available tool windows for the extension. Let's open up the Pieces Welcome Guide. In the Pieces Welcome Guide, you'll see documentation and buttons to walk you through each step of the getting started process. And this is a good place to start your journey. Let's go over how to save and reuse a snippet. Let's say I am currently working on code which needs to interact with the copilot. I'm currently developing this extension and I see that this section of code can be reusable. This section of code will grab the current selection of the document and ask Copilot about it. Pretty meta as far as demonstrations go. But let's right click, go down to pieces, save to pieces. Oh, it looks like I've already saved a similar snippet. No new asset will be created. Well, as you can see, that's because I have a handling editor asset selection and text input. Let's see what this snippet is about. When you save a snippet, pieces will enrich the data with metadata discovered uh, from the LLM and the context pieces has added. As you can see, pieces has enriched this data with associated git commit messages, and it even linked the commits related to the piece of code I've selected. But how do I reuse this snippet? One way to reuse a snippet is to, let's say, I would like to ask about a selection elsewhere. Just for demonstration's sake, let's put our cursor here, right click on the selection, and say insert at cursor. This will insert whatever snippet has been saved and format uh, directly after insertion. If you don't like right clicking or prefer hotkeys, you can go to Tools, Options, search for Pieces, down to User Preferences, and change the default search, search action, Insert at Cursor. Click OK. And now if I press Enter or double click on the snippet, you'll be able to insert it directly. Another piece of functionality Pieces has, there are Pieces Code Lens items. I can click Pieces, hit Explain, and it will provide the code as context to Pieces to be able to answer your question. As you see, it can answer it quite accurately as this is indeed a Visual Studio extension execute method to trigger a command. Uh, what's more interesting is that you can even ask it to comment your code. So if I say pieces comment about this particular code, it will generate the same code you've selected but commented and then I can hit accept changes and it will replace your code with the same code but commented from the FLM. This is very powerful if you'd like to code quickly but still have documentation at the ready. Well, that's it for the getting started with pieces. Uh, look forward to the more in-depth videos coming soon, and I hope you join our community. Discord in the link below, and nice seeing you.